Aaron Solomon, you in trouble, bitch. <laughs> The mother uh, here of the daughter that you sexually assaulted when she was 11 years old and the mother of the son that you allegedly killed when he was 18. Yeah, Angie Solomon. Her hard work is paying off, baby. Her perseverance, her strength, her devotion to her two children and her desire to get justice for both of them looks like it's panning out. So Angie posted something and uh, Nancy Grace liked one of her replies. If you remember, uh, we were talking about Nancy Grace. We would like her to get a hold of this story because one of the officials there in Tennessee is like terrified of Nancy Grace getting this story. Well, again, Angie Solomon's determination has paid off and it's happening, folks. Nancy Grace does officially have the Grant and Gracie Solomon story. I guess at some point later today, maybe tomorrow, on her website, Crime Online. Oh, by the way, Lori Vallow got uh, life sentences without parole. Haha, <laughs> sucks to suck, bitch. Anyway, the Gret and Gracie story will be featured on her website. And then the case is going to be featured on Nancy Grace's actual show. Angie, let me know that it's okay to mention this now. Investigation Discovery, where are you all at, huh? huh? Maybe you should jump on this story, too. On a related note, Aaron Solomon was spotted at Neighbors Bar and Grill in Cool Springs tonight at 8 p.m., um, so I guess that's in Tennessee. Aaron noticed my friend and her two friends and bought drinks for their table. That's real classy, Aaron. Aaron's friend stated that they have floor seats to the Garth concert tomorrow night. My friend stated to Aaron's friend, did you know that Aaron killed his son? Aaron's friend stated that he has known Aaron for many years and he could swear on his life he would never hurt his son. Yeah, no, most friends and families of eventual murderers don't want to believe that their friend or family member is an actual murderer, so that doesn't mean shit. I guess he was also at Lifetime Fitness. By the way, this is a photo that they took of him at that bar, so. You better fly like an eagle, bitch! And still, still, he has not come out and said anything about being innocent in all of this. He hasn't said a fucking beep hasn't even threatened to sue anyone for saying all of these horrible things about him. I wonder why that is. Because if he sues someone for defamation, for lying, uh, they have to prove that we're lying or we have to prove that we're not lying. Meaning all his dirty deeds would have to go through the court. If he's confident he would win, uh, how come he ain't doing shit? He's got money and he's got power on his side. And he's still sort of hiding. Yeah, good luck hiding from her. She's kind of a fiery pistol. Lover or hater, she's not one to mess with. <laughs> Hopefully, this is on the path to justice for Gracie and Grant Solomon. Check the playlist, by the way, if you don't know what the story's about.